Slide a number 12 Viton O-ring into the notch on the long rod of the rotary piston. Then slide a number 218 Viton O-ring over the long rod side of the piston, fitting it into the notch. Spray both O-rings with silicone. Slide the opposite end of the rotary piston through one of the two flush openings in the block. Push the piston through just enough to expose the empty O-ring notch on the rotary piston. Place a number 218 Viton O-ring into the exposed O-ring notch and spray the O-ring with silicone. Push the piston in the opposite direction to make it flush to the block assembly. One of the end plates has a bushing without a through hole. The recess of the bushing will fit over the short end of the rotary piston. Insert four half inch quarter 20 stainless steel bolts. Use a 3 16 inch Allen wrench to tighten them snug. The opposite face plate has a bushing with a through hole to fit over the long rod of the rotary piston. Insert four half inch quarter 20 stainless steel bolts. Use a 3 16 inch Allen wrench to tighten them snug. Place a number 218 Viton O-ring into the groove of the shorter top coupler. Press the coupler into the recessed hole on the top of the block assembly. Place the end plate over the top coupler. The notch in the plate will face away from the flat face of the block assembly. Insert four half inch quarter 20 stainless steel bolts. Use a 3 16 inch Allen wrench to tighten them snug. Place a number 218 Viton O-ring into the groove on the longer bottom coupler. Press the coupler into the recessed hole on the bottom of the block assembly. Place the end plate over the bottom coupler. The plate's opening faces the flat face of the block assembly. It will not align flush to that face. Insert four half inch quarter 20 stainless steel bolts. Use a 3 16 inch Allen wrench to tighten them snug. Place two number 318 Viton O-rings into the notch grooves on the Delrin piston head. Spray the piston head with silicone. Screw the piston head onto the rod coupler. Use both hands to make the fit snug. Place a number 218 Viton O-ring into the notch on the end of the piston sleeve. Place the piston sleeve through the mounting plate before sliding it over the head of the Delrin piston head and rod coupler. Slide the sleeve as far back as you can to make enough room to attach the block assembly. Lower the block assembly, long coupler first, into the opening at the front of the piston filler. Insert four half inch quarter 20 stainless steel bolts and tighten snug with a 3 16 inch Allen wrench. Slide the rotary arm onto the stem of the rotary piston. Insert and tighten a cap head quarter 20 bolt with a 3 16 inch Allen wrench to secure the arm to the rotary piston. Slide the piston sleeve and faceplate against the block assembly. Insert four inch long quarter 20 stainless steel bolts and tighten snug with a 3 16 inch Allen wrench. Connect the rotary cylinder to the rotary arm with a pin. Pre-attach a C-clip to the pin and insert it from the block assembly side of the rotary arm. To secure the position of the pin, insert a second C-clip into the groove of the pin. Because the C-clip may be stubborn, use the end of an Allen wrench or standard screwdriver to persuade the clip into position.